It's all about true to the game here at DGA Theater. I am Jay Styles. You're watching EUR Web. We're talking with the cast, so be sure to tune in right here on EUR Web. How does money look? Looking real good, Rich. So talk about when this movie was first green lighted and you was called on as director. How excited were you to actually direct this film? Well, I was really excited because I'm a fan of Terry Woods novels. So what was interesting about it is somebody had brought the project to me maybe seven years ago. And so when they asked me to come aboard, I had notes already. I read the book many, many years ago. I'm excited to see what they turned the book into as a movie. People, you know, they, they want to see a great movie, and I think we got a great product to show everyone. My man, 10 years in the making, man. Yes. Out of those 10 years, was there ever a point where you was like, man, you know what, let me move on to another project because this film is never going to be made? Well, what happened with that was honestly, um, because of my music career, I've been blessed to be, you know, getting a lot of people call me to manage them. So I was focusing on that, and then I got really close to the rights getting reverted back. And I'm like, darn it, this can't happen. This is a great movie. Let me jump all the way in. And I jumped all the way in and I triggered the you know, principal photography and I just shot the movie. And um, now we're two years later after we triggered principal photography. And tonight is like a great, great night for me, man. It's just show people that you can believe in something. You can actually achieve it. You know what I'm saying? What can we look forward in the film? Um, you can look forward to some gritty street drama, some loving, some um, sassiness from his mother, and a little bit of everything. How did you connect with your character in real life? Um, well, I've been told I have can be a little possessive. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> I'm here to support the film, support everybody in the film. I know a lot of people in it, so that's why I'm here. To support my fellow actors, director, friends. Say, baby, but it feel just a little bit bigger now. Our song on the radio, but it don't sound the same. Columbus is so ferocious, and so when you're on set with him, you got to be on your toes. you got to be ready, because you never know what he might throw at you, and he improvises sometimes, so you just got to be ready. Talk about your character, your role in this particular movie. Yeah, Winston, he's uh, a, a Jamaican uh, immigrant who migrated to Philadelphia and got mixed up with the wrong crowd and started to chase the fast life and money and things like that, and he really likes the flashy life. He's kind of naive also. He thinks like nothing can touch him, no one can touch him, and he's just living a good life, and uh, some interesting things end up happening to Winston. Talk about your role in this movie. Uh, my role in the film, I, I play a character named Rasan, and um, he's just a gangster, all out gangster. He just loves doing street stuff. He got a little sensitive streak. I try to highlight that a little bit throughout the film, but he just really let a game, you know. In New York, we call it a, a, a Steve Brody throwing bricks at the penitentiary. Two things are going to happen. Either you're going to jail or you're going to the morgue, to the one grave. Or the other, yeah. One or the other. Yeah. So I would behoove you, if you're in the game, get out. And you're the boss. I get it. You're trying to be a boss. I get it. Yeah. What's the word? You straight? I'd have called you if we weren't. What the fuck happened? Nigga, get your hands off of me. You ain't number five fucking piece. Manny's one of my old friends, and I'm just super proud of him. Getting something like this done is just amazing. Can you believe that 10 years in the making? I know. He told me about it a while ago, so I was just... I was just really excited that he, you know, he really just put his foot forward and got it done. Talk about what you're doing here tonight, man. Who are you supporting tonight? Supporting my boy Columbus Shore. I'm supporting my sister Vivica Fox. I'm definitely supporting Manny. You know, just supporting great films. I think it's always time that we have to support each other because, you know, we don't always get our stories made. And so when we come out and support, it shows Hollywood that we're able to support each other. And I think that's what it's about in 2017. Diamondfootprints.org. Diamondfootprints.org. It's one of the organizations that I'm very adamant about because unlike the Salvation Army, the Blue Shield, um, you know, those kind of uh, those kind of organizations, these funds are going directly to the inner city, the low socioeconomic status type neighborhoods. That's we're going we we are literally on the ground level 
passing out goods and, 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 need, and families that need it. Uh, do yourself a favor, uh, step away from Instagram, Facebook on September 8th, whatever your drug of choice may be, and uh, unless you're gonna use it to tell somebody to go see the movie, and uh, let's show everyone why it is important uh, to support independent black filmmaking, why it's important to just support a black filmmaking period, because we have stories like this, books that were written, we do write books and we do read, and it's important to, uh, to let the powers that be understand that we have stories that we can tell that doesn't have to be Iron Man, doesn't have to be a uh, Panther, you know, and there's more than one black actor that can play Iron Man, James Brown, and Jackie Robinson. <laughs> I'm sorry. Once we support each other and we just come in and like kick down the doors, we got a chance for it. It's, it's, it's all we got. We each other. What's up? It's your man Andre Full, and I'm on EUR Web, and that's what's up. Be true to the game. Yeah, you ain't nothing but a buster, you know that? I was thinking about getting you the other day, but I said, nah. You know, I know you grew up in the hood and that thing, but you don't come back no more, homie.